the spirit said, brooding. His word was in my bones. Forget brooding. about acquisition. Acquisition Over is tertiary. The primary the goal brooding. of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, fire. Let your mind be Holy God's fire. We are going to pray. If you can pair yourselves into two or pair yourselves into three, we are going to pray. The next five minutes is a serious time of prayer. Please, no carelessness. Focus on Jesus. Minimize moving up and down. And let's pray. Because I want to speak and release some graces upon your life. I'd like you to pray. Whether you are seated, whether you are standing, whether you are lying on the floor. I just want you to take some time and pray in the spirit in one minute. Go ahead and pray. Shades kabala kata paranda gele kusiata rada bada gadebele ketos. Those who are watching online, make sure you are connecting. If you are alone, pray. Jesus is there. This is a destiny-defining moment. Kate praka tebele kata praska baratos. E praka tabareska pelento shala baratos yata. Shadas kate fresca teberente ke pras. Ombra kata barakata fresca tebele ketes. Kebrende ke tebele ketos. Lika parasa baranda bareka tele kaso zediata. Krapa takata brete ke beretu siatesh. Pray. It's a new season for you. The glory of the Lord is rising upon you. Someone pray. It does not matter that you are coming from that lowly estate. The hand of his majesty lifting you by his spirit. Revealing you. You are an effulgence of the glory of the Lord. That through your life, people will learn God afresh. Through your life, they will see the excellency of the power and of the wisdom of the spirit. Kate praska da beleka to sofra de gebas Ranta parasa praska bereska da leko shadis ekrati ke berena vegada soto proto segadesh In the name of Jesus In the name of Jesus we are still praying Father what area of revelation in my life is deficient? Open my eyes to see it. Go ahead and pray. What area is it my finances? Is it that I do not understand the dynamics of excelling in my spiritual life? Is it that I do not understand the wisdom of living and exerting dominion over the cosmos? Open my eyes, O God, that I may behold wondrous things. Call unto me and I will answer. I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. The principles that make for character, the principles in the name of Jesus, the engracing that brings total freedom and liberty over curses, over yokes, over diabolic manifestations. Reveal, reveal by your spirit. Reveal by your spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The last prayer point you are going to pray before I speak over your life. You know the area of needs that you have. That you know when God steps in and it is sorted, it will truly give you the time to sort the king. Some of you maybe is housing. Some of you maybe is sorting out certain material things. The Bible says, ye have not because ye ask not. It says, he that told you have not asked for anything. It says, ask and you shall receive that your joy may be full. I want you to open your mouth and unashamedly ask God. It is the Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Lord, sort this area of my life that I will have the liberty to serve you. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Your marriage, your finances, your children, your basic needs, your family, cry unto the God of heaven. Unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come. 
Shabras katebele katoska prande ke barusa sieta. Ekra te katebe katoska tebele kosh. Rest roundabout in the name of Jesus. Someone is praying. Someone is praying. A businessman is praying in the name of Jesus. A career person is praying. Someone is need who is in need for employment of employment is praying. A man of God is praying. A prophet in the making, an apostle in the making. Pray from the depth of your heart. Let the maker of men make your life, sort your life, bring you rest. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When your needs are met, I assure you that you will have the time to serve His Majesty. A lifetime is too long to have your needs met. A lifetime was designed to serve the King, not serve things, not look for things. Looking for things for the rest of your life is an erroneous use of destiny. Hallelujah. What you are about to receive is the engracing that now makes the things that you have learned. It says, now that ye know these things, if all I do is to leave you at the point of just discussions and knowledge, then I did not do you much. For every time God speaks, there is an engracing. The assignment of that grace is to rest upon you and to cause the things that you have heard to give you the impetus, the propelling force to move in obedience and to partner with your obedience to make manifest the things that you have believed. That is the assignment of the anointing. The assignment of the grace of God that follows his word is to back to propel you, number one, to obey. And then in obeying, to partner with your obedience now to make manifest the things that you have believed. You are the covenant keeping God. You are the covenant keeping God. Yahweh, Yahweh, covenant keeping God. Yahweh, covenant keeping God. You are, you are, covenant keeping God. You are, you are, covenant keeping God. Listen, as I speak over you, I want you to shake away that lie that the devil has told you you will never rise. I want you to shake away that demonic belief. Just because you came from the village, shake away that demonic belief. Apostle, I've lived a wayward life, I've lived a scattered life. Do not worry, in his presence there is room for restoration. But I want to pray for you. I want you to receive from the depth of your heart. I stretch my hands towards you. And I decree and declare, I call upon the God who helps men, the one who helps men to rise, the one who helps men to thrive. In the name of Jesus Christ, begin to command strange results from tonight. Begin to command strange results from tonight. Strange results from tonight. Extraordinary results from tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for your passion for the things of God, your passion for the things of the Spirit, fresh fire upon your altar, fresh fire upon your altar, fresh fire upon your altar. Now hear me, I want you to receive this prayer, I want to pray for you. There are many of you, I'm saying it prophetically, between now and December, you will stand here to dedicate your own home. 
I say it by the God who sent me in the name of Jesus Christ and for some of you as it is now you may not even have work to do but you see God is ever willing to make his power manifest I say it again by his favor may God start sorting your personal needs Please hear me. For some of you, while I described the human body, I perhaps call systems that are physically failing in your own body. While it was an analogy to explain the kingdom systems for victory, for some of you, you were just wondering and saying, Apostle is just calling this thing. Anything that has entered your body and has vowed to cut short your life, I command it must jump out of your body now. It must jump out of your body now. It must jump out of your systems, out of your organs, now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm going to speak over your finances. If you don't need it, you can receive it for someone else. But I want to pray over your finances. There is an advantage we have in addition to our value, our wisdom, relationships. There is the grace of God that engenders favor. You find that in 2 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 8. I like how the Bible puts it. It says, and God is able to make all grace, not some grace, all grace are bound towards you that ye always having all sufficiency sufficiency means the capacity to always rise to the occasion never disappointing in all things it says may abound to every good work i decree and declare in the name of jesus the son of the living god for someone here regardless the financial mountains that stand before you i call upon my god who is also your god let things begin to change supernaturally open financial doors 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 in the name of jesus christ it says the lord is my shepherd i shall not want i decree and declare whatever makes resources to go out of your hands whether it's the careless use of them or a demonic manipulation whatever be the case i decree and declare the grace to retain resources receive it now are you ready for favor i will pray this one today I will pray it at the miracle service next week. I will continue to pray it till you become a living expression of the favor of God. Let me pray it for you. What is in favor? Huh. Favor has the ability to accelerate your life and your destiny. Favor has the supernatural ability to bring to end seasons of hardship seasons of all kinds of things most people have not understood the all-surpassing excellency of carrying the genuine grace for favor and i have told you the proof of favor is not money money is the least thing you can be given as a result of favor the proof of favor is when god connects you to the hearts of men that you call on one man and a nation is ready to respond to you and even to attend to your needs. I don't know who that person is, but I'm stretching my hands towards you. That grace, I lay my hands on my own head and I pray by the privilege of the election of grace, may that grace rest upon you. May that grace rest upon you. Rest upon you. Rest upon you. This grace called favor, let it rest upon you. Let it rest upon you in the city, in the country. Let it rest upon you in the name of Jesus Christ.
that you become a living evidence of what God can do with men. In the name of Jesus Christ. And by this impartation of favor, I call forth whoever has been mandated by God to participate in your rising. Whether you know them or not, I declare this week by the power that raised Christ from the dead, may they show up in your life. May they show up in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. Final prayer. Whatever has refused to move forward, you have moved it by your energy, you have moved it intellectually, you have outsourced men to move it, but it has refused to move. I stand by the, the, the advantage of the prophetic. I move you forward. I move you forward. Make constructive progress in the name of Jesus Christ. For in Jesus' name we pray. You have believed it. Your eyes will see it. Your hands will handle it. I say it again. Your eyes will see it. And your hands will handle it. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Forget about acquisition. Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting, use it quickly. Oh, fire! Holy God's fire!